Hello, Ethan back with another update video. Uh, this is month three of uh, MIA so far. And uh, maybe last month was different because for two weeks I was really, really sick. Uh, I lost my voice and I had like serious like brain fog for about two weeks, I guess. Uh, so last month, uh, for two weeks, maybe up until yesterday, I stopped adding like new kanji RTK cards because my memory was so bad. Uh, I was, I just reviewed them every day until the number came down, uh, yesterday to like 40 cards or 30 cards, I think, because I was just not adding any new cards. <coughs> So maybe this month now I'm on to like still 1,000, nearly 1,700 kanji. So I was adding 30 cards a day before that. So uh, I can still finish RTK, almost finish RTK uh, this month. Maybe the start of next month I'll finish RTK1. And so yeah, just a bit of a delay I guess in RTK but I don't think it was a really bad thing because maybe I can recall the recent kanji before I ha I got sick quite well now because kind of focused on them because I had really bad brain fog and then remembering those kanji was really difficult when I got sick and then so I failed them a bunch of times and then now I can remember them well which is good I guess. But uh, yeah, so just a slight delay in that. Outside of that, just like maybe my ability to immerse has kind of increased a bit. I mean, when I was sick, I think the first day I had a day off work when I was sick, I spent like 15 hours just immersing. That's not counting like RTK. So like I was probably awake 17 hours and 15 of those hours was immersing and two of those hours was uh, RTK. <laughs> So, yeah, that was really good that I could do that and not, I didn't feel like any mental, like, oh god, my head hurts, I'm, I can't concentrate, it wasn't like that at all, it was like I was watching stuff that I was interested in, so, and so, I guess someone, someone said before on the Discord that, like, they created a separate account for YouTube in Japanese and that was a really good idea. So that day, I think the reason I could do so many hours that day was like, I was watching Evangelion. I watched a lot of that uh, that day. And then when I wasn't watching Evangelion, because I, I needed like a little bit of a break from it, in between I would watch like YouTube videos. Like I watched like YouTube videos about like NHA documentaries about domestic terrorism in Japan and I watched documentaries about like what else was it like the top 10 like wanted because like in Japan I live in Japan there's like in the Koban there's like a, the police box has like a list of most wanted people and it was like explaining all those people their crimes and stuff like that like it was just interesting documentaries so the idea of creating a separate YouTube account just for Japanese is a really good idea because like you look up one video you want to see and then you get more recommendations and then you don't have to watch YouTube all day but like if you're watching something and like you need a break right you need like maybe you want to watch like some documentary or you want to watch some like five minute video while you're brushing your teeth or something it's really really good like I really recommend make a separate Gmail account and log in to YouTube and just watch uh, Japanese stuff on it and because of the way the recommendation system works like you can you can just spend a lot of time just clicking on new videos and watching them and it doesn't it feels like you know YouTube in, in English almost because you're just kind of entertaining that part of your brain that wants kind of short attention span entertainment like three minute videos four minute videos about shaved ice or something so that was really good and then uh yeah watched what have i watched i watched all of evangelion i watched end of evangelion can't pretend like i understood all of that in japanese because it's like 
I didn't understand all of it in English when I watched it the first time. It's really complicated. The ideas and some of the plot in it's really complicated. But it was fun to watch, which is the main thing. Uh, and it was good practice. Uh, it was like entertaining to watch. And there's different characters with different personalities. So it was good, good to watch that. And then as well, I watched... What did I watch? Hmm... I just watched maybe my normal stuff, watched new episodes of Terrace House, watched new episodes of Boku no Hero Academia, and also I watched, yeah, the new Psychic, Psychic, like, uh, it's like an anime that uh, is about this boy who was born with, like, incredible abilities, and, like, he's just pissed off at everyone all the time. Because he can hear all their thoughts, and it's just, it's just, it's good to watch. Because the people around him are funny, and he has like godlike abilities, but he's just kind of pissed off that people are bothering him. And it's really good anime to watch, to be honest. It's like slice of life, but like much more entertaining than like normal slice of life anime. <laughs> so I highly recommend that. And uh, I forget what else I've been watching. Oh yeah, GTO actually. I got like great teacher Onizuka down. I got that like 50 episodes or something. I watched a bunch of those and then I stopped. Um, and I'll pick it up again. But it's really good. That's another really good one to watch. The only thing is like there's a lot of gangsters in it. So they do that thing where they like roll their words. Like I don't know if you know what I mean. Like when they say like oh my da. And they like roll the R's and stuff. So it can be like it's good practice because like that's really difficult to hear i think so there's a lot of that in it it's like good anime to watch and uh <coughs> yeah so i went on holidays for like a weeks but in that time i obviously immersed less because i was busy doing stuff but i still managed to maintain like rtk reviews and i managed to watch stuff like you'd have downtime and like I had Netflix and stuff and we had internet so just watching stuff on Netflix and uh yeah that's really what I did I'm probably forgetting some stuff I watched because like a month is a long time I probably l finished whatever I was watching last month as well and uh I watched like Kokaku Kirotai the second movie which is like again really complicated and I didn't understand it the first time I watched it in English so yeah I couldn't understand all of that but it was, it, it was entertaining to watch. I actually was surprised how good the CG holds up. Uh, it's a really good one to watch. That one actually goes in the shell too. It's good. Um, and maybe something strange I noticed. Because my, my listening is getting better, obviously. Because I'm listening a lot. And uh, the weird thing is, so before I did MIA, I was just like studying traditionally. So I did like M3, like... A, like two a year and a half ago now maybe a year ago now a year ago now I did it and uh, so I did like lazy kanji and stuff so I could read but like not well I don't think like I could read I could understand the words but like my reading my my general comprehension ability was not that great if you know what I mean like I really had to kind of even though I understood the words and I could read them I kind of had to think about what does this sentence actually mean uh so like my I could read, but like my general comprehension ability was not very good. Uh, so what I noticed recently, which is strange, because I'm on Twitter and I follow some like Japanese celebrities and stuff on Twitter. Uh, even though I haven't practiced reading in like I don't know how long, um, I've only been listening and studying kanji. I was like reading Twitter the other day, and like there were some long tweets, and I realized like. I could comprehend them much easier than before. So it's like, even though I haven't practiced reading, and my reading ability is not getting better per se, my general comprehensive ability is getting better. So like, I could read it, and then just like, oh, I instantly know what that meant. Whereas before, I could read it, but I didn't instantly know what it meant. So, you know, like, I feel like immersing more, even if it's just listening, if you can read, as in, like, you physically can read hiragana you, and you listen all the time and you can read kanji and you can identify the words. Your, your comprehensive ability increases and then, like, you can read more 
easily you can no that's not right you can like comprehend more easily and uh yeah that's what i noticed because that was one thing i was worried about before was i could read and i could read the words but it like individually the words made sense i can understand the words individually but the whole meaning of the sentence i was kind of lost on sometimes more than sometimes and so i noticed that even though all i'm doing is like listening uh it's increasing my comprehensive abilities and i could comprehend things that are written better than before which is interesting i kind of really wouldn't have expected that but yeah that's kind of rambling it's kind of like unrelated to anything really but it was something surprising i noticed anyway and so yeah that's really it i guess i mean maybe next month uh i will finish rtk and go on to rtk3 i guess and just continuing immersing and that's really it yeah so yeah thanks very much see you next month